Yeah, man, South Central in the building, Quincy White, the 7 Up Now, Homegrown Radio, Chuck Dizzle, what up, man? DJ Head, LA, man, in the building. <laughs> Homegrown Radio, Chuck Dizzle, DJ Head. Hey, we live in West Coast. Here, man. Hey, uh, shouts out to Tom's Jr. Hey, man, man, salute to the homie, uh, the homie Sparrows over there at Tom's Jr. holding us down every week, man. Go get you a DJ Head special because I got okay. my own little combo. Okay, you know what I'm saying? There's How you two- pull that off? Hey, you know what? God is good. Man, okay. Two ninety five. You get a burger and a drink. Cheap, All right? just like you. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Cheap, just like DJ Head. Hey, man, this podcast is brought to you by the good folks at Times Junior. Look for the diamond whenever you're driving through uh, Southgate, Linwood, L.A. or Compton. Don't if you happen to be on the east side and you want some, you know, some good food, check them out. You know what I'm saying? Real ninety two three DJ Head. We in its collaboration. And quick shout out. Oh shit. Oh shit. And quick shout out to, to us. Okay. God damn it, it's our 10 year anniversary. Yes, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, you can clap it up for that. Yeah, make some noise. Yeah. Oh, that was, that sounds kind of weak. Yeah, that was weak. Let's we can't, not do, we that. Can't do no drink champs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah fuck we, won't, that. we won't do that shit no more, ever again. Ever again. Get no. like two claps. Yeah. But uh, 10 years, man, it's been it's been a hell of a ride, hell of a journey. And uh, we're going to have that homegrown stage popping in front of the, the real show. Just announced Wood, man. today. Just announced. I mean, if you, I mean, you're not listening to it live, but whatever. Yeah, man, it's going to be all good. But um, who we got on there? We got Big Boy Music. Shouts out. Shouts out to all the homies. I ain't going to name all it's y'all. Too many them it's too many of y'all. They all, gonna <laughs> yeah, they all going to be there, though. Yeah, they all going to be there. going to be there. Trust and believe. Uh, they not going to miss this opportunity. Shout out to the homie High Tone, now. Covina represent. Yes, indeed. Shout out to O3 Greedo, watch O3 represent. Three. I was just looking on his Snapchat uh, or his Instagram. He is now, he said he's not charging 5000 for features no more. He's charging 10000 for features. Hey. I think this coincides with him being on the stage. So yes. He's like, he upping his shit right now. Yes. So he's looking for Oh, so his price went up. Oh, he, he upped his price now. <laughs> he said, if you need to a show or a feature, 10 racks. You need to holler at 10 bands, so, uh, 50, all right. Yeah, get at him. And then also, G Perico, the man. The homie Perico. The homegrown homie. He, he wants to be known as the number one homegrown homie. I do want to point hilarious. out that G Perico is the second homegrown homie. Because he he's walking around LA telling everybody he's the, the first. first homegrown homie. Kendrick yeah. is actually the first very homegrown true, homie. Very true. Perico, you can have second. That's not a bad, not not a bad look. Second place, absolutely, man. You're right you right know after, after, after the homie, man. So shout out to uh, my man G Perico. It's gonna be a crazy, crazy day. Um, so yeah, come on out there. We'll also possibly have some last minute real show tickets if you guys. Chuck is gonna give up his. No, nah, he gonna you got you the, you the plug. Nah. You the one that's getting Tom Junior's sponsorships and shit like that. Listen, securing the bag has nothing to do with that, that tickets. Is all about the plug. You are the plug. Uh, thank you. Well, Lupe and Sparkle gonna be out there. They're gonna have all. The tickets on that <laughs> so make sure you you get at them speaking of lupe <laughs> speaking of lupe we have to reinforce this rule because lupe does not seem to get this oh, thing oh, we call oh, we got, don't we got pump the help we gonna talk about you it you don't have a mic right now damn it <laughs> yes. lupe, let's talk about it lupe lupe is our producer she thinks that she is above the rule that you do not hump the help now sparkles over there laughing because she's off the grid we're not on her right now we're we gonna get back to her in a minute <laughs> But Lupe, but no. Okay, so look, just to put things in perspective for all do. the people that's new to Homegrown. Um, and matter of fact, this is a prerequisite prerequisite for if you want to intern for Homegrown, uh, especially if you're a young lady, your your uh, prerequisite is going to be nobody can hump you. So There's Sparkle no is to help. Sparkle's our GM, Shout and out. Lupe is our producer, yep. and we absolutely, positively do not support humping the help. So. Please Sparkle Stay away Sparkle was getting Knocked knocked down For like A year Two years straight Yeah You know what I'm saying She's trying to walk out Yeah (laughs) She's trying to walk out (laughs) Hopefully she's not Trying to set nothing else up Yeah so um, Anyway yeah, that's not happening. So yeah, we not shut with that. that down. And um, shout out to the homegirl Alex. Alex, Alex, you're not above. Alex this is not a shout out to Alex from Kiss Dang. FM. We gonna interrupt no, those I'm dates. About, yeah, I'm talking about the other Alex, the one that's in here with us right now. Oh, okay. Ain't, ain't nobody yeah. humping you either. You know what okay. We gonna well. interrupt them dates. We doing all that too for yeah, Alex we hate Kiss him. FM. So just to let you know, speaking of which, check out that last podcast with uh, Alex as well. Hey, we got a lot of good feedback from that. We got a lot of good feedback. And quick shout out to all my white friends. <laughs> I love y'all. What's up? You know what I'm saying? Uh, Subscribe to the podcast too, man. If you want to check out all past shows, um, either on SoundCloud, iHeart, Radio, iTunes, all of that, man. We we Google Play. 
pretty much wherever you can hear podcasts, we are there. Just search for Homegrown Radio. We got a special guest tonight, man. Shouts out to the homie Quincy White. He who will. was uh, yeah. formerly known as Dub yes. for some time. And, you know, he's got some. First cool thing I'm going. asking him. Oh, yeah, you got to. First thing I'm asking got to. him. Like, what the fuck? Absolutely. So, you, you got to. We got to. So yeah. we'll talk to him in just a little bit, man. But a lot of other things happening this week. First and foremost, dude, um, I feel. I'm not going to. I don't feel bad. I don't feel bad. No, we, I don't both, feel, we both are uninformed. Yeah, don't I, I don't feel bad, but I definitely feel out of touch. You know what I'm saying? I see I seen a tweet go up, followed by it going trending uh, just last night um, that rapper Lil Pete passed away at 21. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It was due to a uh, drug overdose. I'm not sure if it was Xanny's or was it Percocet? What was it? Xanax. Okay, so it's been confirmed it's been Xanax. So He should have listened to... Allegations. Allegations. Oh, allegedly. That he overdosed allegedly. off of some... Prescribed medicine. So, he should have listened to that high tone album. And those Xanax needed, man. Yeah. I mean, but it's it's. I guess it's a bigger issue. You know what I'm saying? It's just sad. He was only 21, and you hear we see these issues come up all the time. You understand? My thing is, um, I don't know Lil Peep. I have no idea who he is, uh-huh. and I don't want to. I don't want to disrespect his him or his family or his fans right, or right. None, of that, none of that type of shit. I literally have no idea about Lil Peep. Yeah. So, and I don't want to front and be like, rest in peace. Like, I hate that. Like, I don't like that fake. Internet shit where Well no I don't think I don't think you can say You don't have to be fake When you say that But I mean The way I kind of Looked at it I was like damn I was like I don't, I'm out of touch But it's still a sad situation Nonetheless Like that old No it's life. unfortunate like, Yeah 100% is unfortunate And 21 is really young Like re- Like think about What you was doing at 21 Like mm. Like you I know for me I was like, fucking with this chick Named Sherelle Sherelle Yeah Sherelle From Compton She was knocking you down She did She knocked me down In, in my I had a jeep <laughs> <laughs> she knocked me down in the front seat of my. We got down in the front seat of my. Gym. Anyway, that's some serious. Yeah, shit. shout out you to little Pete. The front seat. That's fucked up. Wow. <laughs> but but I mean, I, I guess it's just a sad situation. Like, <laughs> how we go from that? To I don't know. I don't know. Knocking down the front seat. Um, but I, I guess it's a bigger you know issue. Saying. Like, what the hell do you think that people? Like this, like, do you think this is a wake up call for people to stop doing that shit? So they ain't gonna stop doing drugs ever. You don't think so? No, ever. People at all. gonna Kurt Cobain died from drug overdose allegedly. Uh, Pimp C allegedly died from drugs. Like it's just every generation is gonna have they sacrificial lamb. It's, it's you right. got you got Lil Wayne with his at seizures and shit. Right, like right, right. it's not it's a problem, but I don't think it's ever gonna stop. But the the culture's changed, so you know obviously you know. Coke was one a big thing back in the day. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, crack cocaine was a thing. You know, you know, fucking uh, different strands of marijuana and how they, you know what I'm saying, make that shit. That, 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 there's like super weed out there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's not necessarily as bad as these type of things, but, you know, you got uh, lean, you got fucking uh, X, which turned into Molly, and, you know, all these pills now. Now the culture is this. Now, what I'm saying is that do you think this will – help phase out that to go to the next whatever culture is because i mean people at this point people are getting kind of afraid of you know this shit well yeah but at the same time it's it's a drugs is always gonna be a part of the music industry Mm -hmm. and every in every genre not just not just hip-hop hip-hop usually it's a lot more attention paid to it because we glorify the 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 actual distribution of drugs but you know, people die in country music. People die from drugs and rock music, all that kind of shit. But I don't think it's ever gonna go anywhere. It's always gonna be a problem. So whatever. That's crazy. Wow. But shout out to him, and you know, hopefully his family is good and all that. Yeah, that sucks though. Um, uh, got man, big up to Swiss Beats, man. Graduated from Harvard Business School, and I've been kind of looking at. <laughs> was like, that a real degree or is that? I think one of them honorary things. I don't think I don't think it was honorary. I think he's been going to school for like the last three years. Three years, three years. He's been okay. Going to school for like the last three years for this shit. So it's been yeah, master's of business. So shouts out to Swiss. Well, he been hey, with that. I like I like when um I like when rich motherfuckers that don't need it like go back and get it because it's like damn. I want no excuse. Uh, it's no excuse. It's no excuse for anybody. That's what I, I love about that. Because now anybody that's looking at it like, oh well, you know, if he can not not necessarily if he can do it, but it's like, well, damn, he's doing it. Like, what's my what's my excuse? Well, I think a lot has to do with light skin privilege too. You think so? That's how he got in the Harvard. Yeah, Swiss you think Beast? on 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 his on his uh, application, he's put light skin. No, like, they no no. Swiss Beats when he walk in the room, mm-hmm. light skin privilege all day. What I don't have th- to do with Harvard though. Cause he, that's how he, you know what I'm saying? He finessed no. some shit. What you mean? 
He finessed some shit. I'm sure it's a couple of them tests that was looking kind of janky. So and you're he, not giving you not giving Swiss his credit. You saying that he's not that smart? I didn't say none of that. You did. You, I didn't you're, say you're none of that. Lying no, that I'm trying to fuck. Privilege privilege don't try to do that is shit. The reason why he's got into Harvard Business School. You don't. Graduate. No, you on some alternative fact shit right now. I didn't even well, clear, clarify, please. I'm just saying, you know, light skinned people have different privileges than more melanated men like myself. Okay, and, so and dig shout dig. out to him and his his degree. That makes people smart at all. Listen, man, fuck that. I'm just saying. Fuck I, that I and fuck you. How about that? <laughs> need some clarification. That's all. Shout that. out to Swizzy, though, man. Congratulations. It, it was, I think his hashtag was from, from the Bronx to Harvard School. Or from, mm -hmm. from the Bronx to Harvard. Yeah, man. and Shout I do, out. hold on, I do want to talk about this because mm -hmm. I, was, I was listening to, um, what was I listening to? Uh, the Breakfast Club, okay. and they, they discussed it. The Nicki Minaj situation with her brother. I heard oh. her brother got convicted, and wow. he's looking at 25 years to life. Get the fuck fuck out of here yeah what, so she was defending him for a minute though too right i mean or was she kind of like hey man that's my brother i don't know she's stuck by her family member but at Got the same it. time it kind of at this point he's convicted of all these different charges with a minor that's so tough. it would be pretty much detrimental to her career Jeez, if she man. to be associated with that so i mean what would you do that's why i want to get to staying out the way so but this your this your brother i'm though. staying out the way i'm dodging that bullet i'm staying out the way i mean <laughs> The thing is, well, I, see, I don't know the details of the whole. I'm okay. If you had a brother, okay, and your brother was convicted of fucking with a minor, and is looking at fifteen to life, do you publicly and you a public figure like gotcha. like it's big? You a superstar, international mm -hmm. superstar. Do you put your career on the line and say I'm sticking by my brother? Well, I would have to know the facts of it. Mean, I, I would have to first of all. I do you have believe to know my you have? To, yeah, you have to. I would have to know my brother, right? Let's just let's put it in the context. If it's me and you, right? Yeah. yeah. And you got convicted. Of oh, I'm not. No, I'm, I'm fucking. <laughs> with. Let's, 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 if it's you, <laughs> chit, 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 chit. I know, like I know certain. I, I just I know your character, and I know that like, nah, like it could be some shit where let, let's just say because we see shit like this happen all the time. Where yeah. It could be either. A text message. It can be some shit on social media. It can be anything that implicates somebody, maybe knowing somebody yeah. that's underage, and their their relationship could be in question. Now, I would probably be, hey man, you shouldn't put yourself in that situation. And if you explain to me, nah, this because me, we we talk off the record on some crazy shit, like, and if we, I know how the perception is with certain things and how what what the actuality is. Oh, like, okay. But yeah. if, if if you got a history. Of you know fucking with some minors or I don't give a fuck if you was eighteen and she was she was fifteen, 15 16, yeah. sixteen and you could turn twenty one you fucking with somebody that's sixteen, fifteen. If you got a history of that shit and I notice, then I'm like ah ish. You know what I'm saying? Now you 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 knocking on 30, 34 and I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like it just may not. Well, I see might that, business myself at that point. So you got to excuse yourself. Oh yeah, I'm excusing myself. At that point. <laughs> like I'm, I'm, I'm leaving. At that oh point. yeah, cut your ties and I'm get out of here. My ties. I'm so, out of here. but you, but I'm so you saying you got to know the person's character. I got to know their character. So no matter who it is, it could be your mom. I got to know their character. And I'm saying if it was your mom's right. and you knew oh, if that mom's she was fucking up, I'm cutting myself. I really? Can't, I can't do that. I, I feel sorry, the same way. I can't do that. I feel the now, same way because it's not like it's not like we can deal with this situation in private. Yeah. We did a situation in the private and it's like, hey man, you, you fucked up, you need some help or whatever. Yeah. But in public, I can't just walk down the street with you like that no more. <laughs> yeah. Mom, you gonna have to, you know, go to church on your own, you know what I'm saying? Do your own thing. So you saying me, DJ Head, if yes. I got a history of, let's say, ravaging white girls. Uh-huh. And and you know, some shit happened where, like, I was, they brought up and it was like, oh, DJ Head took advantage of this particular girl or whatever. You would believe it based on the fact that I have a history of what's your definition ransacking of, white girls. Yeah, if, what's your definition of ravaging and ransacking? Give me, uh, give me, an, example. <laughs> give me uh, an example. Let's say, you know, just just dominating them um, intimately. So you say you fucking the shit out of them. <laughs> you saying that? I mean, that's I don't man. Man, you put me in a weird situation. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> West Coast. I don't know, man. <laughs> Have you have you ravaged some white women? Are I have no idea what you're talking about. Are you, are you saying this on the record? I have no know? idea what you're. I just need to know. Just hey, let's read Quincy. <laughs> 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 yeah. hey, hey, how's that for a segue? Right, yeah, yeah, right? <laughs> hey, real quick, before he does come in here, I gotta say, man, Dr. Dre, 2001, and Corrupt as Streets as a Mother came out 18 years ago today. Man. Yeah, that make me feel old than a motherfucker. I'm you not, are old than a motherfucker. I am. I was 16 when that shit came out. Yeah, and and, and Tomas wasn't, and he was still in his dad's sack. No, he wasn't. Tomas was probably like three, four. 
How old were you in uh, 99? Two. He was two. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Hey, hold on. When Tomas was born, you was jacking off for two years already. <laughs> Facts. 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 That's hilarious. That is crazy, man. That's um, funny as fuck. But, <laughs> oh, funniest. this is. I want to get into this too. So, 2001, right? I was thinking about this. 2001, like the album? Dr. Dre, Dr. Chronic. You know, you know uh, Jay Z wrote um, Still DRE. Jay Z wrote. Jay Z wrote "Still Dre" for Dr. Dre. That's in the wrote, credits. Yes, and Snoop's verse. I, I knew he wrote Dre's verse. He wrote Snoop's he verse. He wrote Snoop's verse. It's on. Shouts to the Rap Radar podcast. They confirmed that Steve Stout was on there and talked about that. I'm gonna look this shit. Check up. this mm, out though. Look this shit I, I had an epiphany, and you know we on some West Coast shit. I'm on some. But West you, Coast man, shit. I gotta give Jay that 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 credit right there because. You know, he had an infamous line about Snoop knocking over building, the buildings in uh, the New York, New York video, right? Yeah. Come on, sit down, Quincy. Come on in. Right? So, he knocked down the buildings in, 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 in um, the New York, New York video. I feel like this was his get back. Yeah. I feel like that was his get back. Like, at this point, now he's on record for writing one of the biggest records for Dr. Dre. Yeah. And Snoop. I didn't know about Dre, but I knew, I, didn't, I mean, I, I knew about Dre, but I didn't know Snoop. So I think at, at this point, if you could say anything at this point, Jay has that over over the West Coast. Man, that's some bullshit. That hurt. I'm not gonna lie. As that's, a West Coast nigga, that shit hurts because he got that shit on his on his credit. I'm looking at the Wikipedia it's, it's right on now. There. S. Carter is on. No, I'm looking at the Wikipedia right now. Did and, you know, uh, Quincy. Oh yeah, Wikipedia is sure unreliable, up. but make sure his mic is up. Oh, you, wait, you uh, you muting him? Yo. You got it? Say something? Yo, yo, yeah, yo. There. Cool. There we go. So shout out to the homie Quincy White in the building right now, man. Home All right. Radio, man. Appreciate you coming on through, homie. Quincy White in the building. Let's get the bullshit out the way. Go ahead. What is up with going from Titty Boy to 2 Chains? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Officially. Officially man. the name change. Man. I mean, y'all y'all, y'all been on me for how long? What? Years. Man. Years. Years, right? Um the music has always been personal. Mm-hmm. So it's like, I felt like it was a point where it was like, man, why go by an alias? You know what I'm saying? I'm right. so uh, transparent, authentic. so authentic, so like of an open book. Like, let me just be me. And like, especially once I start getting known, I'd rather be known as my real name, Fish you know, man. so that I can carry on through my family, my daughter, all that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Legacy. legacy. Yeah, yeah, legacy. Exactly. So, but, but my, my thing is this, because we know you for a minute, and I always felt like your mu- music was open. I always felt like you, right. you gave your heartfelt and soul to this shit. So what's the difference now between being personal, this go around with Quincy White versus being personal as Dub? Uh, I think it's like when I say personal, I think it's more in like in my real life. You know what I'm gotcha. saying? I had to dig back in my roots because like as Dub, I was if, like my last couple of projects, I was like kind of alienating myself from my hood. You gotcha. know what I'm saying? Gotcha. Like because gotcha. I'm known from to be from Anthony's Park, but right. like I wasn't really like pushing it to the forefront. You know what I'm saying? Because I didn't want to be labeled as a game bang rapper Just or something that. like that. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? But um, I was like, man, let me embrace where I'm from, and and the way I talk, I'm not gonna be looked at as a game bang rapper anyway. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Even though I'm from over there, they just know I'm one of them dudes that's more intellectual. You know what I'm saying? Right, and, right. and really know about what I should really be doing. You know what I'm saying? The thing about you though is you always. Ever since I known you, like I don't even know how many years I known known you, but you always done your own thing. Like, you always marched to the beat of your own drum. You always, you didn't really give a fuck what nobody else was doing. You always doing you anyway. So I feel like most of the time, like, in those situations, when you genuinely authentic to who you are, you make the name. Right. Like, the name don't make you. You make, you, the, you make the name. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but like I said, man, like, I mean, Dub was just too, it was just too general of a name. It was sometimes I was calling people that that had new phones and like, hey yo, who is this? And I'd be like, Dub. They were like, which Dub? Oh, uh, you know, because you know, Dub is a street name. You yeah, know, that's that's my hood name. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So they like, I'm like, I gotta be like Dub from yeah. Athens. Right, right. <laughs> you, you know what I'm saying? And then I'm like, that was right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quincy White. Like, right. ain't no other Quincy White. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, I had. Now to. who who gave you that name, Quincy White? My mama. That's are you? I'm sorry. Are you named after anybody in your like a great grandfather or? Nah, no, nobody is named Quincy White. No, my dad's name was Roosevelt Quentin White. So I don't know if the Quentin, oh the Quincy's the Quincy. definitely come from that. Oh, yeah, yeah. So the reason yeah. why I asked you that, I was just having this conversation. It's funny that you said that about how vain parents are. 
They always want to be attached to some shit. Right, like, just right. let me have my own fucking name. Right. Because right. I'm named after my dad. I'm named yeah. after my dad. He named after his dad. Like, God damn. Yo, like, give me my me, own I'm, identity. So you a junior? I, yeah, I'm a, I'm a second. I'm, I'm a second. junior. See, he he had money. So yeah, he's that. a second. <laughs> I'm a junior. I was broke. That's I'm a royal junior. shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I hate on my legacy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But now, nah, you know, that, that's some real shit because my mom, my mom's name is Vera, right? And my mom told me, she's like, if you was a girl, my dad was going to want to name you Shavira. That's what I'm, I'm like, saying. That's that bullshit. Like, yeah, like the, the combination of both their names. I'm like, damn, I'm so glad. You I say wouldn't. your dad was Roosevelt Quentin? Yeah, Quentin. 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 Yeah. Quentin. See, that's what I'm saying. That definitely came from that. You got yeah. the remainder. So it was like, carry the one. Let me get that. <laughs> it's like when you have, to ke- when you have to check out and you see the Snickers and you didn't you didn't come in the store for that. Like, let me get that. Yeah, yeah let me too. get that. Yeah, that's, yeah. What, that's, what add that. that's how you got yeah, your yeah. name. Now, yeah. now, you took some time off, though, man. So, I mean, talk about that. Why, why was it important for you not only to get back, but what was... What was the break for in your your own explanation? You know, why why you in your own words? Uh, I mean, I mean, if y'all y'all know, I always take like a year off between projects, right? You know, and that that's be that be the Rich time. Rich shit. Nah, nah, nah. That, <laughs> said, nah, that, nah, nah, that, nah. that that be the time where I'm actually working on the project. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm not one of them artists where I just keep dropping back to back to back because I really be digging deep right. in my projects to go back and tell them stories. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, um, but it, you know what? It just felt it felt longer this go round for whatever reason. Even because you know why? Because I, I I wasn't on social media. I didn't tweet. Oh, I didn't post a right. picture. So was that hard? To find you. It, it was very hard. Yeah. Bro. <laughs> and, but, Dorit, but not, you, not, not because, you always got some shit to say. To you. Yeah, yeah. Not because like I'm like a social media head, and I always like go down my timeline. It was just like. To, to not be on the scene, to not put out music, right. I felt like I was like letting whatever I had I uh, built up over the years die down. Oh man, yeah. You know You're what right. I'm saying? So, right. And then I but, had to I had to at the same time I had to still pay attention right. to everything that was going on. So I felt like people that started b- before me was passing me up. Right. You know I what I'm saying? But I fe- it was needed though mm-hmm. because like I felt like I was running on a treadmill as the oh, you know what I'm saying I hit I hit, I hit my wheel. ceiling oh, I hit a ceiling expand. exactly I hit I hit a ceiling bro so that that, that was like the, the 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 moment where I was like man something got to change and then I prayed on it and then I woke up and then God was like man go back to Quincy White yeah did like, you start you know? out as when you first first started rapping no you want to know my name when I first started rapping I don't think uh, I heard this what was it Q Dub oh my so you had a little boat. it was trash. It yeah, was trash. That was definitely yeah. trash. I'm so At glad. You, but I was like 14, though. Oh, it don't matter. It was still trash. It was trash. It was trash. We ain't, I ain't going to lie, bro. It was trash. <laughs> it was trash. It was, it was Q slash D-U-B. At what point were you like, right, I'm fucking up. This this yeah. ain't it. Yeah, yeah. Then I dropped the Q, added another B, and then made the uh, dub uh, acronym for Determine Unique Beyond Belief. I love that, too, by the way. Bro. And then, um, you know, because Quincy White, Q-dub, you know what I'm saying? Like, I mean... It was trash though. Yeah, You're right. Yeah, I give you that. Yeah. But um, we all fuck up. But you know I, what I'm I didn't even really like Dub after a moment. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like I was like, man, I need to figure something out. And I didn't want to go another alias. Mm-hmm. That would have been whack. That would have been too much. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I also too. Um, the reason why I was asking about the social media is because you are one of those people you don't really hold your tongue. Like you're very reserved. Right. Where you won't you won't volunteer your opinion about everything. Right. But oh, some shit right. that you do. Trump just got on the office and all that shit. Like all kind of shit. Going yeah. On. Like you're not the person that's you never you your name is never in the mix of the bullshit. Mm-hmm. But when you got some shit to say, you don't hold your tongue. No, I've always been like that though. Like you know, um, I'm very blunt. That's why I don't really you know. Voice my opinion on Too a lot often, of shit yeah, yeah, yeah. because it's like, you know, you see how people treat Kanye. You know, right. what I'm saying? Like, they they, they, <laughs> they take it as and they take it as arrogance or crazy. It's just like nah, because people be trying to put on personas and stuff. You know right. what I'm saying? Just for the media, so they won't seem crazy or, or you know, uh, the politics and all that. You know what I'm saying? So I just say what I want to say, man. It's, it's out, like huh? fuck it. Like if you either like it or you don't. You That's know exactly how I feel. But I mean, we I think we started out on that accord. Because the first, I think the first song, I, I think I told you I didn't like it. I don't remember what song it was, mm-hmm. but I always been honest with you. Yeah, yeah, And yeah. you always was like, all right, for sure. Yeah, I never was like bitter about nothing. Yeah, said, never. I always came to you, you know, to ask for opinions because I know you was going to be honest. You right, know right. I mean, everybody I respect like that, everything. Though. Yeah, everybody ain't going to like everything. Yeah. Probably don't, I don't know if you heard the seven, but. I heard yeah, the seven. Yeah. We can talk about that, that too. Yeah. So me, talk talk want? about the process of, of creating that, man. What, what what is it? First of all, what does it mean? And then, well, uh, the seven where it stemmed from. I'm from 127th and Broadway. Gotcha. You. you know what I'm saying? But me, you already know, got to be deeper. Me. Right, right. <laughs> so you know, the seven. More it was that. it was uh you know my mom, my dad, and five kids. So it was seven of us. Oh shit, that's a lot. 
You know what I mean? Yeah, it was a lot of a lot of them. Damn. You know what I'm saying? And then the seven, the seven is like you know a lucky number. Obviously, mm-hmm. it's a it's a religious number. It's yeah. like it, it represents completion, completion right? uh, perfection. Uh, the seven is a lot of shit, man. You so for for you, I mean, obviously the the family thing, but what what did, you, what did you feel like you want your your stamp to be with the seven? Like you you named all these things, but moving forward, did you have something that you want to make sure that people got when they heard the seven? Just where I was from. Got you. You know what I'm saying? I just told told her it was the like, area, or where you coming from like, mentally? The area. Got you. The area. You know what I mean? The area. Uh, cause like like I said, people would just associate 127 Broadway just like gang banging. Right. You know hell I mean? yeah. So I would. Hell yeah. <laughs> right. If you from LA, you, you kind of know. know. Like I mean, it is. You know, it is what it is. But at the end of the day, man, I just you know made it have deeper meaning when you really listen to the project. You know what I'm saying? And it's. It is what it is at that I, point. I was telling you in the other room, man, like how how I appreciate the fact that you were I feel like you were you were a little more vulnerable this go round. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, even talking about situations with, you know, with your girl, like yeah. relationship shit, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like little things like that. I feel like in hip hop, typically, you know, guys shy shy away from. You know what I'm saying? They they don't really put their stuff out there, but I feel like you did that this go round. Um, was that something hard for you to do? Like Shedding the layers of, of not necessarily who you are, but like taking it to that next level of talking about those type of situations. It's it's really not hard for me because uh, I feel like that's what people do appreciate about me because I'm I'm so open and um when you speak on topics like that, you're way more relatable to regular people that are listening to yeah. you. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because they go into the same shit, so mm-hmm. it's like you speak on that and they're like, damn man, that's same that's what shit. me and my girl going right. through or. Yeah. That that just happened to my uh, auntie. Yeah. Uh, you know my my uncle on 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 that. You right, feel me? It's right. just like so. That's why I just always just speak my mind because I am a regular person. Mm-hmm. You know, I sp- I tell you my life, so you can be like okay. So it's always relate. And and even if like nothing that I do or, uh, is going on in your family, you still know somebody that's that that's going shit. through the same shit. And I, you know I, what I'm saying? Um, real quick, before I listen to, I remember when um, I was trying to listen to the seven. Right. And I text you, right. and I was like, "Yo, I was like, it's not on, it's not on." He was like, "It's on Spotify, it's on Apple Music." I'm like, "Bro, I'm looking for it," and you was like, "Bro, it's on there." You <laughs> like, he hit me back like, "Bro, it's I there." It's, I, I know yeah. my shit is up there. Wait, my shit right now. You <laughs> Tell everybody how to fucking spell Quincy, Quincy White. Okay, yeah. So that's what you was doing. You were spelling yes. my name wrong. Uh, it's Q U I N C. E Y E Y W H I T E. Most people put the E. The, don't put the E. Don't in there. put the E. Yeah, I mean because uh, you know the regular, you know the generic way to spell Quincy is C Y. C Y. Come on, man. That, hey, come on, dog. You, you can put I the did, E in there. Yeah, I was driving. The e in there, man. Fuck that. You, can't let <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was moving. I was driving. He was I, like, I, I thought he was, he was like, bro, bro, <laughs> shit is not getting no numbers because it is not popping up. <laughs> I just want people to know that because that's an yeah. obvious mistake people gotcha, will make. Gotcha. Like, yeah, because yeah. because the way Apple, well, Spotify is intelligent. I don't know what who the fuck or what the fuck they do in the Apple Music, right. but they shit is not intelligent right. to where it just not finds not what up. you mean. You right. know what I'm saying? Like we got all this autocorrect shit, but. As Spotify will find it. Yeah. Apple Music, you have to type shit in oh, gotcha, specifically gotcha. to the letter. Gotcha. Yeah. Now, you wasn't the first person that told me that. Real shit. I was like, man, I can't find it. And then I have to send them the link so they can push it and go straight to it. Go straight to and it. And then every time people be hitting me, too, like, hey, Quincy. And I'd be like, bro, it's, it's evil. evil. You know, like, I really correct everybody because I know it's, it's it seems kind of like. It's going to take time. It seems like petty. Yeah. No. So it's like. True. That's but you know what I'm saying? People put an A in my name. Right. They like H E A D. No, that's no. that's what. Right. But I'm, you know, but it just take time to to build it and make sure that people know this is the correct right. way to do it. You so know, that's why I did and, that. That's and that comes with notoriety to too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I know, you know, it's it's new for everybody. You know what I'm saying? Because people, I didn't went on interviews even on this press run and. People slipped and said, duh. Uh, you know what I mean? I'm like, oh, I'm right, my bad. Quincy right. White, I'm sorry. I'm like, it's cool. You know, I mean, if y'all knew me for years, right. it's like, it's, you know, it's just second nature. You know what I'm saying? But, it, you know, with now, time, like you said. We were talking about just things about how, how shit resonates. Like, when I was listening to it, one thing that you said, I forgot what track it was, but you, you mentioned how you overthink. Yeah, you know it was a, a mirror. So, and, and, and basically, you're looking in the mirror, and you, 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 you're the one to blame. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I, that I, song? I, I fuck with that. That song is good. I fuck with yeah, that message, bro. too, because I feel like that's that's the problem, the, the mentality for a lot of people. I don't care what situation you're going through. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? You got to take responsibility, take ownership. And, I mean, not necessarily not just not overthink, but really look at yourself in the mirror and say, look, all right, whatever shit I'm going through, 
it's all on me. You know what I'm saying? Or right. to get to that next level. Yeah, because people, people are, like they always, you know, blame point other people. But else. like they said, you know, what's the, what's the saying? Like if you stand in the mirror and you point, point the, the finger, it's gonna point back, right at, back you. at you. Real shit. You know, well, what if I'm you saying? point so, at somebody, you got three fingers pointing right back at you. Right. Real shit. Right, right. Shit. right. So yeah, I mean, talk, talk I about do, my bad. Go ahead. I do want to. I do want to point out that I, I like mirror. My shit on 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 your album is window pane. I like that fucking song. And I, the thing is, like, normally when I like a song, I hit, I'll make a big deal and hit somebody about it, like, hey, this shit is hard. But I, like, I, it was one of them songs that got me, and I just kept listening to that one. Like, I listened to the whole project beginning to end. Then I went back, I kept going back to that one. Like, I listened to that shit, like, at least three or four times. Yeah. And I'm listening to it, and then what you're saying, I feel like this is one of, was this one of the first songs you recorded off this project, or one of the last? It was one of the first. It was one of the first. Yeah. I feel like when you wrote it, you were in a because the, the album's cohesive. Right. But window pane, I heard something different in your voice. Like it was more like it was kind of like you was it, instead of like you know how when you get in the booth and you, rappers rap. It it was more like it was more like <laughs> you was do, literally right? sitting there on like at the window and rapping. Yeah, it was it was a it was a more reflective record. So like I couldn't really like rap aggressively. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because it was like me telling a story. Like it was like a me being a narrator. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I, it was like a it was a, a visual lay, a lay yeah, is it a laid back, you know, like I was talking pretty much. It was just I mean? a st- yeah, and I I just thought that I was like, this must be like it just took me to a different place than the rest of the project. The rest of the project is cool, but in the Los Angeles Times is crazy too. That's yeah. that's kinda crazy. You're yeah, looking. talking crazy. Real cinematic. Uh, but um <laughs> um but that that song specifically, I want people to check out because I think that that's that could be like a staple song on this project as far as conceptually, like a, yeah. a dope visual or like whatever yeah, it is. It's but. gonna take a lot of money to shoot that visual. <laughs> Without the that's right a, way. That, that's like a movie, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So. And I do want to point out now. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say the name and all that because I didn't took I didn't got a cut I didn't got in trouble and shit. But the freestyle you did recently was hard. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Yes. I'm not going to go into all of the, oh, shit. the other, other bullshit in the politics. The freestyle you recently did that I watched was hard. Oh, he did. <laughs> <laughs> He's laughing like, ah, ah, ah. Uh, okay. Hey. Okay. Hey, he did one on Sway. Hey. hey. He did one on Sway. Hey. But free, one. No, not the Sway yeah, one. Not the Sway oh, one. Yeah. The one in L.A. Yeah. The, free, the, free, the, free, the freestyle he did in L.A. was hard. That leaked online? Yeah. yeah. It, oh. You stupid. Uh, it kind of sound like, you know, it spelled like Lakers. Right, 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 right. That's it. I got hey, yeah, oh, fuck okay. all that. But <laughs> okay. Fuck all that. That that freestyle yeah, that, was hard. Man, I just wanted to tell. Play you, play I want to give you props on that You're because looking, I, yeah, you, you that was one of the it. first things I saw from this new the new batch yeah, of shit yeah. that you got, and I was right. like, "Woo!" I did that. I'm sitting by my. You know how when you sit by yourself, I ain't gonna lie to you. I was on some DMX shit on the way up here because DMX just came up to the station. Anyway, look, I'm two times in the last seven days I've done that by myself. Okay, I'm on my way to. The, I'm on my way here, and DMX is. I'm listening to what these bitches want, and he and DMX is going. I'm like, "Woo!" <laughs> the other time when I was watching your motherfucker freestyle, I'm watching that motherfucker by myself in the room. I'm like, "Woo, he going, he going." So yeah, I promise it on that. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Man. Man, talk, talk about this uh, this situation you got with Sway, man. I mean, the partnerships you got got with him and uh, moving out. You know, obviously this this go round shit. Uh, what about it? Uh, I mean, talk. talk I mean. The, the, People may or may not know. Is it a situation? Are you signed? Is it is is it a partnership? Like what's what's the whole? It's, situation? it's a part. Well, signed. It's like a partnership. It's a. Um, it was pretty much like a production situation. Okay. You know what I mean? Uh, with with uh, Sway and, and uh, Kelly uh, Jackson Dope. over there. Um, they they really just believe in me. You right. know what I mean? Like I was coming up to the show a lot. And then you know I didn't really have management. I didn't you know have no label situation right. or nothing. So every time you know we'll get off air, he'd be like, "Man, how you how how'd you even get up here? Bro? <laughs> who left, who, like, who like, left it, the door open? Right, right. And you know uh, Nikki Jeezy. <laughs> yeah, you know, she she hooked up the initial one because I was like you know. I knew she blogged for them at the mm-hmm. at the point in time, and I was like, "Man, let me go rap up there." Right. She like, yeah, and this is when she first met me through Jake and Papa. Yeah, and yeah. then she asked him like, "Can he, I, I mean, I know he rap, but it, could he really, really right. rap? Because yeah. you know, Sway is really like, he, yeah, yeah he, he want the hyenas right. up there." And I was like, "Yeah." So at the time, I think I had something on YouTube, like a hundred bars or something. Yeah, and then I sent her that link, and she was like, "Oh my god, yeah, wow. you can rap." So. 
she put in the word, and then they they, they got me up there, and wow. then and that's when I first did it, you know, and then. Like I said, we just built every time I went. Like so, I went up there like four times before he actually was like, "Man, what's up, man? Like, who's your manager?" Right, blah right. blah. You know, you know. Then we he took me out to. Uh, he had did a show out here. You know, he had a pack. I mean, a broadcast out mm-hmm. here. And, you know, because this shit in New York, right, so right. he had one out here. And then that's when he took me to uh, lunch. And then and you know he said, "I see the same thing I seen in Eminem wow. and you." That's when, crazy. When, when uh when That's he came up on compliment. the wake up show yeah, with me and King yeah. said, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, damn, like to hear that and he 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 hear rappers yeah, all day. All now know here's know the saying? kicker though. This how you know if you if your if your situation is really as tight as you think it is with Sway, have you seen his hair? Man, hey, listen. listen. <laughs> 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 Hey, listen. I, uh, Go to commercial. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. I, I I made a joke about it. I was like, man, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I've never seen you. Like, do you sleep with that motherfucker? <laughs> like, do you take a shower with that motherfucker? Like, I don't, like, I don't know, man. Like, I So think, you, you're you not on the inner circle then? No, nah, his, 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 his hat got his own, like, Twitter page, and, like, <laughs> Instagram, <laughs> all that. You know what I'm saying? But, like, I'm like, he, he got Sway's hat though. doing flat tummy T ass and shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, no, I, I don't think nobody's seen it. Man, though, to be that's honest. wild. So, not so even him. Seven tracks on. Well, yeah, seven <laughs> tracks on here. You said not even. You stupid. Seven tracks on. Which what song means the most to you on this project? Uh, I would say you know on a personal level, Mirror. Mm-hmm. Um, one of my favorites is uh, Graveyard of the Pan. Um, because it showed like range, you know what I'm saying? Because it's like I'm singing, singing on the first yeah. verse. I was about to ask well, that. That was yeah. You. yeah. And actually, the thing is, I know you got. I know you. That got was Papa. I know. I know you got. That, that was had, Jake. That I was Jake had, or Pop. I wanted to ask. <laughs> that was, like, is that somebody else? Because I was. I was listening to it. I didn't have. I didn't have it. Um, I wasn't able to look at it. So I'm like, oh shit, he got somebody singing on it. I'm like, nah, I think that's him because I know the the, the Nipsey record. You know what I'm saying? I know that you got more melody than right, people right. know. So right. I'm glad you you mentioned that. So you you you're showing the range on that one as well. So yeah. that's dope, man. Do you like? Oh, go ahead, go ahead. I mean, uh. The reason why I did it because Pop, he always be like, bro, like, I knew you it. really can sing, bro. I knew, I told you. You need to sing more yeah. on your music. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I was like, all right, bro. Why were you when resistant I, to it? Uh, because, like, I was just so rapper, rapper mode. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? You everybody was to expect- everybody at you a beast. Yeah, everybody was expecting the bars, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, I felt like at a point in time, like, the 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 singing made me a little more soft. Gotcha. But here's the thing, you know though. This is something we just talked to, uh, we just sat down with Moneybag Yo. From okay. from Memphis, okay, and he was he was saying the same thing because on a, on one of his records I forgot the name of it that I liked off of his new project Insecure Insecure it okay. was off his new project uh, Federal Three Times, um, shout out to him. Basically, he was experimenting with melody, mm-hmm. and the thing is, a lot of rappers shy away from that shit. And I'm like, bro, if you can do it, right. you have an advantage out of over everybody. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like it's kind of like if if Ye is the best at mm-hmm. producing and rapping. Mm-hmm. Utilize your you know, your advantages. You know what All I'm right. saying? Like take if you have the ability to hold melody and let's say uh like um a rapper rapper, like bad luck. Bad luck can't do that shit. <laughs> Fucking do it. Right, right, right. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> bad luck hard, singing though. on some shit. Yeah, you 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 Why ain't not? gonna hear bad luck singing on shit. Happy belated birthday to bad luck too, by the way. Shout out to the homie. Happy birthday. But yeah, that's what I'm saying. Just for real, embrace that. Yeah, shit. I had to. I had to embrace it. And, and if you get in my car right now, like man, I'm I'm playing Raphael Sadiq. I'm I'm playing all you know, like some grown shit. Yeah, I'm playing singing shit, man. You know what I'm saying? So anyway. that that's what I that's what I listen to on a daily. I, I I rarely listen to rap, and when I do, it's like real old shit. Like it's funny he brought DMX up because I'm off that X right now. Bro, I'm I'm been off like, X <laughs> last two weeks. I was listening to the How's It Going Down. It's on to the song. Oh, oh man, you give oh, me a what? Yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah I've been off hard. that shit. Shout out to him. Yeah. Um, this is what I'm gonna talk about. Um, real quick. The last time we talked to you on here on on Homegrown, yeah, okay, fast conversation, it was man. the I think to to date yeah. was probably the most vulnerable and deepest conversation we've ever had. Yeah, that with, was dope. That was a great fucking conversation. Do you think that you do you think have you ever like thought about being that honest, just in general? Like I'm talking about, like, cause he, like the conversation we had was more like it was one of them things, cause we homies and shit. Right. I don't see you doing that on sway, or I don't see I, I don't see that that you open up to people like that. 
it really yeah, you're right. It really depends on the uh, relationship I have with the person asking the questions. Mm. You know what I mean? Because yeah. like I like I said, I knew y'all for years, so it was like a regular conversation I'm having outside yeah. with, the, with the homies. You with know what I'm saying? Too. So. Um, I probably would have I would have it with Sway yeah. You know what I'm saying Because we have that type of relationship as well But uh, A lot of people don't ask me them questions To really dig deep You know It's yeah. just the regular questions Like What this song album, mean bro. The album come out Okay What's your social media Yeah no uh, I'm talking about like saying? Even stuff with like With your family Your daughter Or your Like Man you ask me I'm gonna tell you right, right. So like oh, you know Like what what's mean? been going on with that Is everything Like Because oh, uh, uh, you've been on hiatus yeah. So how's that affected fatherhood for you uh, it affected a lot of things. It affected my relationship. Um, it affected. Uh, I, I would say it never affects the relationship I have with my daughter because um, she's young and uh, she's getting older, so she's starting to understand it. You know, now me and her mom is in different households. Yeah. So like, you know, she she has a different energy now because I used to come home and you know, yeah. and it would she's be like you. all of all of us together. So now it's like. When she go come in my house, she like running around, jumping, you know. And then when she go home, she doing the same thing over there. But when I walk in her mom's house, and then when I leave, she start crying or trying to pull me yeah, in the room where we all slept right. in. Oh. So it's it's, it's she, very like you, you remember? She, come on, she, it's, yeah, it's very it's very heartbreaking. Yeah. Like yeah, I actually went through that before I came back out because I live in Vegas right now. So yeah. um yeah. I didn't know that. I've been living in Vegas for like two years. I, I just I be coming that. out here wow. to do all my music shit. Like everything wow. musically, I do it out here. So. Um, it, it me and her mom talked about it the other day. It was like very hard for both of us. I was like, man, damn, that really fucked me up. You yeah. know, we, I text her and she was like, yeah, me too. It's it's, it's sad. You know what I mean? I'm like, yeah, I, I I wish it wasn't like this. You know what I'm saying? She's like, yeah, me too. And then we just kept it like that. You know what I'm saying? Do you think it's it's something where you guys can fix the situation where you can't, or is it is the relationship at this point past any reconciliation? Is like now? Nah, Maybe later in life, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? I think it's timing. Yeah, yeah, it's timing. Like, you know, because she young, you know, I'm a little more seasoned, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, in the relationship field, gotcha. you know, because I'm, I'm, I'm like, you, you I'm said, four years older than her. You said in the album that you, 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 you be fucking up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that. like I said, I, I did some shit, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, not, I'm never blaming it on her. Right, you gotcha. know what I'm saying? I did some shit. I, I, I played my part. But uh, I feel like if it's ever, you know, going to work, probably later on down in the line. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to say no. I'm not going to say right, yeah. Right. It's, I, really, I really just put it to, put it in God's hands. Gotcha, you know gotcha. what I'm saying? If it's meant for me to be there, then I will be there. You know what I'm saying? Because my, my book is already written. Yeah, very you true. You know what I'm saying? So if, if, if she's meant to... I mean, she's always going to be in my life. Course, I always, I'm always going to love her no matter if I am with her or with somebody else. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's a, She gave me my daughter. You know what I'm saying? But Well, I mean, because we, we've had people up here, too, when it comes to... You know that situation. They're, they're totally off. It's like, nah, I fuck with her, but nah. They nah, yeah. I mean, cause like I'm more, I'm more family oriented, man. Gotcha. Like, you know, I grew up with my and mom. And it feels that way too. Yeah, I grew up with my mom and my dad in the same household, and they argue like cats and dogs, man. And and they stuck it out, but that that was back in the day. They didn't yeah, really they leave they each other. Nah, they thugged it out. You know, like I mean, it was cheating going on. Yeah, all kind of it shit. Was, Babies. Uh, other, you know, other families, Hell yeah. all type of shit. But they stuck it out. I think this generation is more with the co-parenting. Yeah. You know what I mean? I think I, mean, I think it's because more of the social media, more of the reality TV promoting it. Right. You know, they will break up easy and like, oh, we're just going to co-parent. Exactly. Like, come on, my nigga. <laughs> like that. That's affecting the kid. You know what I'm the saying? They just thinking about their happiness. You know what I'm saying? Like the the parents back in the day was like, all right, we don't really fuck with each other like that. But right. Bro, know I know, I know. My homegirl, her 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 grandparents right now been married. She said like 25, 30 years, and they they be beefing. Like they be full out funking, hey. but she get, they got on their own rooms in the house. They still together. They still married, they it but work. it's like you go to your neutral corner. I go to my neutral corner. <laughs> like they when they get home from work, they don't fuck with each other. Yeah, I mean, because, but they still married. I mean, be, that shit crazy. But, but look I mean. at it like this though. Like you know, when you first meet a uh, like if you're a girl, you first meet a dude, and if you're a dude, you first meet a girl. It's always like. Super fun It's you know It's happy it's honeymoon phase Yeah honey, honeymoon phase You feel me And then once you with somebody For years It's like you know What you know Every It gets to a point Where everything they do Kind of get on your nerves Yeah right? Especially if y'all start Beefing over little shit right. And then people don't know How to let go Certain shit you did It just It becomes toxic Right You, you feel me yeah. but, but we're not You know This generation isn't strong enough To really let go You know what I'm saying If you forgive somebody You gotta really forgive let somebody Let that shit go You know Cause yeah. I, I, I did some. I I cheated on her, you feel me? But at the end of the day, I was like, man, you know, it was a point in time where we wasn't doing shit. 
Oh. You know what I'm saying? So I'm coming to her. Yo, what's up? What's up? What's up? Oh, uh, I'm tired. I'm tired. Tomorrow, 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 tomorrow. So I was like, what am I supposed to do? Right, right. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I'm a young nigga. Hey, I'm popular. Like, I'm popular. Like, I'm not ugly. I'm on. You feel me? So it's like I'm somebody. On. Like yeah. So it's like you know, and people's like, oh, maybe you know, it, you know, it's not just about that. It's really not. But it's like you know, as a human, that you have needs, and you know, and it's not even just that. It's just like the 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 affection, all that. You right. know what I'm saying? So if you don't feel if you feel unwanted. What are you gonna do? Yeah, you gonna you know, cause you might you might just start it, it starts as you venting to a homegirl. Right. But then the homegirl, she like, Oh yeah, you're right, and you know, all that shit, and then that's when it, you know, might get a visit and then yeah. it can make it physical. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? For the record, look, I just want to say for the record. I mean, not even. No, 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 no. I'm agreeing because I I understand like what you. Yeah. I, I ain't agreeing because I go through the. Nah, shut the I fuck up. Yeah. He always yeah. trying to throw that disclaimer because he married. Yeah, and do yeah, that yeah. bullshit. I mean, His wife look, be watching this. I mean, shit. but listen, no, nah, but look, you know, I'm just, I'm just, y'all saying, y'all saying, y'all want real answers. No, no absolutely. No, I'm just saying, okay. fuck him. Not I'm you, fuck him. Okay, yeah, we good. But um, so go ahead. Yeah, that's that's what I'm saying though. So it's like I played my part. You know what I mean, but I'm not. I'm not blaming it on her. Yeah. I did what I did. She forgave me. She stayed with me. Then, you know, we didn't work because you know she felt a certain way, but she didn't voice it. You know, she oh, thought it was cool. Yeah, held I, yeah she held it in, and then to one day she was like, "I'm, I'm good," and I'm like, "Huh? Yeah, you." Like out of nowhere, like we, I'm out of nowhere. like look, we didn't have no problems, <laughs> nothing. She just left me. I was like, "Whoa!" Like. I thought she was just mad. She that was day. bottling so, that shit. Yeah, man. I thought she was mad that day, yeah. so I hit her the next day. She I'm sorry, out. you know. Are you all right? Blah blah. You know, I don't want to be like this. No, I'm cool. I really don't want to be with you. Wow. You know, and then it was just like it is that. What it, is. It, it, it was that from then. You Damn. know what I'm saying? And then I'm, I tried to make it work. And she didn't want it. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said, if it happens in the in the future, maybe. Maybe. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But I mean, I'm, I got to a point on. where because I, I was really stressed out. Not so now on. I got to a point where I can smile again. Right. Um, you know, and I was more so like, damn. You know, when you break up with somebody, you don't want nobody else to. Hell no. Nah. You know, and that'd be that'd be your main demon. Like, man, I don't want her to fuck somebody right, or right. this and that. But once you get over that, it's just like, all right, she had people before me, so right. it's like, all yeah. right, whatever. Yeah. Like, you know, it's life. You know what I'm saying? Like, so you know, it's, it is what it is. Now, here's the thing with fatherhood coming out of a relationship. Mm -hmm. Being um, this is <clears throat> how do you feel about? Like let's now I don't want to just talk specifically about the Tyree situation, but do are, do you know about what's going on with his shit? Are you talking about when he was on uh, Instagram? Yeah, like he doing all of this now. Yeah. I mean, as a father, I'm not a father. He not a, he not a father yet. So like we both don't understand. We don't we don't we can't relate to that. I can't relate I to can the relate. struggle of of wanting to see your kid mm -hmm. and that not being an option or an available for you. So I don't mm -hmm. I don't want to come off insensitive because I don't know what that's like. Right. But could you see yourself? Like crying online, <laughs> trying to figure it out, or like I mean, but I mean, I want to see my daughter. And nah, see the thing is, pull up. What? What? what, <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, my daughter. Wait, 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 look, look. So what he did? <laughs> so what he what he did? Like crying, like like I I I do that. Yeah. You feel me? But not. Like holding the, the selfie camera. cam That's, up. Thank you, please. You know what I mean? Because it's like then it comes off like uh, this is yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because you really like push the record and start crying. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you the deeper part. Seriously though, I'm gonna tell you the deeper part about that. I don't even have a problem with that, right? I got a problem with after it's uploaded, you type a status. <laughs> oh yeah, literally yeah. All about this shit. a caption. A ca not even just a caption, but a whole paragraph. Because I. A, you can go on Instagram. Live. I would have deleted somebody that. can snatch somebody can snatch that, throw it up there in your vulnerable spot. Get that right. But the yeah, fact that you're like that, you're saying yeah. the same thing. Like you clearly recorded it, and and then you push post, and, and then you win. Wrote along. Status, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right through some hashtags in there. <laughs> no. Some, some ha yeah, somebody. a couple of hashtags. Put that motherfucker up. Like add a couple motherfuckers. I need some beats. Means, be vulnerable. I understand that. And and as even not being a father, I understand that part of it. Like damn, right. you know, you want to see your daughter, but. To take it to that next step is what I don't understand. Is that is that something you can understand or Cause, not? Yeah, because I, I don't know. Maybe it's part of father. Nah, we see, trip it. Nah, I see, like like I like I said, like I can understand what you just said. Like if he was on Instagram Live and then like probably somebody brought up like what's up with you and your your baby moms and right. then he started talking about it and then he start crying. Yes, yeah, different. And then people thing. push that record on that they iPhone. Him, yeah, you know there. what I'm it's saying. And throw it up. Yeah. Then it's like all right, cool. You yeah. know what I'm saying. But like like I said, man, I, I don't like. 
Like I done cried a lot in my relationship mm-hmm. about my daughter, daughter or whatever yeah, she yeah. going through or yeah. me and her. Like, cause I'm a regular dude. You right. know what I'm saying? Like I'm not gonna sit here and say I'm a, a tough guy mm-hmm. or you know what I'm saying. So, um, yeah, I just wouldn't. I wouldn't push record on that. Damn. You know what I'm saying? I think there's just a lot of effort to show someone how you feel as opposed to actually feeling that way. Like if I really if I like it's like it's like just like we were just talking me and Chuck was just talking about this at the radio station. If you it's like if there's a real problem with somebody where we come from, it's a problem. Yeah, right. It's either it's either good or it's a problem. Yeah, it's, it's not like or, yeah, it's not no really no in between. So my thing is if it's either love or it's attention. Right. It's not like it it, it comes off very disingenuous. Right. All the antics on top of everything. You know what I'm saying? Then to come out and say, oh, like. I was on meds, or like I feel I don't know. It just it just. So seemed, did he? So what did he say? He like, basically like, he they came out and said that he was on meds. Yeah, he came. Out, he said he was on meds, but then he he was crying like the next. The yeah, next it was some more so shit. I, so I, I don't know. Anyway, it's, but I just want to know situation. as a father. It may be some shit we was missing. It may be some shit we don't understand. Yeah. <laughs> so you, you know what I'm saying? Like, we just nah, don't understand, nah, man. Yeah, we all don't understand it. All right, so you you got we were talking about the the project the seven, which is available right now. Going to support that. Um, how many do you plan to to put visuals to every single song, or is it just certain ones you have ones that that you want to release it to, or are you gonna go a different route, maybe uh, not release visuals? Or well, I did I did kind of go a different route. Um, I got the only music video I got out right now is Hollywood. Oh, right. Um, I have Lost Countless Times about to drop like within the next week or two. Okay. Um, but what I did do, I did do a visual for every song, but not like a music video. I did uh like you know how people drop snippets to the songs. Yeah, I dropped visual snippets. Oh, word. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So they all they're all videos. It has a video component to each one, but just yeah, just they were small Instagram. It was like a minute Instagram okay. clips, but they all like movie. They all movie ish. Like gotcha. you know, the homie Yellow did them. You know. Oh, shout out to Yellow. Yeah, he got the red cam now. So. Oh, he, oh, he go owned. Ahead, go, go ahead and hit my nigga Yellow and, you know, get your video done. Shout out to Yellow yeah, from Dago. Why, yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, why, yeah, why shout out to that route versus create full visuals? From why, why give him a snippet? Uh, because uh, a lot of them take a lot of resources. Gotcha, gotcha. You know what I mean? And, I, and, I'm, and if you really know me, I don't really do a lot of visuals mm-hmm. because... I like more cinematic videos. Very true. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm really against, like, high uh, 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 performance shot mm-hmm. videos. Okay. Like, like, like super performance shot videos. I don't like it. I, I like more, like, B-roll, cinematic, acting, like, all that. So I feel like if I can't shoot the video the right way, then I'd rather not shoot it. Got you. you, know do, you do you do um, you see yourself as far as, like, because I know that we was talking, to, again, we was talking to a couple of artists, like, in the last two weeks. We talked to a lot of different people. Um they, the new, their new strategy is just to drop projects, flood yeah. the like to flood the streets. But then it's like, do you, like, cause your shit, you do, you, you take the different approach. You drop and let it and let it breathe. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, but do you notice? Do you feel? Do you think that's gonna change? Or because I, uh, I think I'm a um, these motherfuckers dropping four projects a year. It's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I think uh, cause I used to do like one a year. Mm-hmm. I think I might push it up to like two. Okay, I might push it up to two. And, uh, like, leaks in between, videos in between. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, I'm more substance heavy. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? Versus just, like, just songs, mm-hmm. quantity. So it's like, you know, I don't want to really... I don't want to, like, uh, uh, dilute my substance by putting too much music out. Because, yeah, like, if, yeah. I, if I'm really talking about some shit, so if I put out four projects... It may get repetitive of what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? I gotta really go through exactly. (laughs) I gotta get my time. I gotta get myself time to go through some shit to talk about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I can't really. You know, I'm not gonna say I can't, but you know, me doing four projects a year, I would have to start talking about other people's life. So, (laughs) when when you go through, let's say, situation with 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 with, um, your your girl at the time. When you go through some shit, do you instantly get in the booth, record, or do you? No, like I process it, like you said, like like. I went through some shit that I probably ain't gonna talk about like till six months from now. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Because I really gotta like, damn, that shit really happened, and I gotta live through life. And I, like, I'm I'm not a dude. And I was just t- having this conversation because I I stopped by my studio earlier in Studio City. I'm not a dude that be in the studio every day. Mm. A lot of rappers like, oh, I gotta go to the studio, and if I'm not in the studio, I'm slacking. Yeah. Like, nah. Like, I only go to the studio when I'm inspired. Mm. You feel me? And that's why the songs be so potent. Because, like, something has to tell me to go. Like, right, like right. oh, you got to get this off your chest. I'm not going to go and then put on a beat and 
force some lyrics for Force a, a song yeah. Yeah. Exactly gotcha. So like when I really have Something to talk about That's when I go lock in You know what I'm saying gotcha. Do you have to have The right music to, to, to pair up With what you're going through Let's say you're super inspired To go to the studio But the production May not be right Can you still Get some shit out Or is it like You have to coach somebody Through production Oh uh, yeah I like, I like to uh, Because I You know I like to rap certain ways in certain pockets of the beat, so I like to get it like, you know, done exactly the way I want it right then. And then sometimes we may go back in and uh, change things and rearrange beats, but I have to have it has to be close to finish like the beat when I'm starting. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? Gotcha. I don't. I'm not a dude that like to go on a skeleton track and just oh, rap up. Yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it has to be mm-hmm. exactly where I want it. You know what I'm saying? And that, that's just how I've been for a couple of right, years, you right. know? It works out for you. Now, do you have um, do you have any thoughts on what's going... Because you usually... Like, I remember the last conversation we had when you came up here. We were talking about <clears throat> things that were going on. It's been a lot of shit that's been happening since then as far as in the, in, in hip-hop and in the, in the black community in general. Do you have any um, thoughts on... Let's say I don't want to say specific like the Black Lives Matter all that kind of stuff. I'm just saying in general, your message because I remember you had a, I forgot the song you talked about it in a song before. I don't remember uh, the PSA. PSA. So, do you notice thing? I mean, do you? How do you feel? Do you feel like things are progressing? Do you feel like we making progress at all? Do you since that since that time since that song? Uh, I feel like we. We kind of are, you know what I mean? Like, we, we being more vocal, you know, and being more supportive of, uh, like, you know, things like the Kaepernick thing, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I've seen other athletes do it, and then once they job, but it's like once their job got um, affected, yeah. affected, they stopped. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then certain people had different outtakes on it. They was like, you know, if he really was with that, he wouldn't have cared. You know what I'm saying? And then other people was like, whoa, that's the way he feed his family. Right, right. So that's why he stopped. You know what I'm saying? But yes, but think about it's it. Black, hard. It, it's a hard thing. But think if you take it back to like civil rights, they didn't care about none of that shit. Yeah. Like they would they was dying about that shit. Right. No, I agree. You with know you. what I'm saying? They would have lost their life about that. I agree. You know what no, I'm people saying? did so, lose their life. No, exactly. That's what I'm saying. But that was their mentality going, going into, into it. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like and some and then certain people would be like, yo, why would why didn't you have the same mentality like when you did kneel, you, be ready to lose that job. Right. For, for your people exactly. Like if that's really How you feel right. And I kind Also kinda, you saying If that's If you really about Like it's kind of like If you really about this if life If you really about that life Be it, about it Be about it You got already you. got millions of dollars You can You can live off What you got A already A modest living You yeah. can live off What you got already right, right You know what I'm saying So Kaepernick kept doing it He's still doing it right Or yeah, is, yeah. is he even playing now I mean no He's not, no, he not playing Did anybody pick him up Hell no Nope. So you don't think nobody gonna pick him up? No, I said people. People are I don't interested. Think so. in, they've been talking about. I think the last two weeks people were interested yeah. in. They, so how long have you been a free agent? Uh, like over a year. it's been some time. It's been a year. I think it's almost been two. No, no, no. Almost and that, two. And you think that's solely off of One him kneeling? Hell, hell yeah. yeah! Hell yeah! <clears throat> All this shit stems from him using his platform to to tell to tell the world how he feel. Right. And I, I think, but well, see, flow. that's what I'm saying. It, you start venturing into dangerous territory when you start telling people what they can and cannot say, how are you supposed to feel, how are you supposed to react to shit. Yeah, I don't like that. And but it's it's so crazy, like like how America say, like you know, we free and all that shit. And, and by him just expressing how he feel, he just lost his job. Oh, they like, making an example for sure. Yeah, that's that's. Crazy, but here's though. the thing, though. And then, they, and, then, and then the owner talking about uh, the what do you say? Something about the inmates running right in the, the asylum. Yep. Yeah. But he looked like he looked like a slave oh, yeah. owner's son or something. <laughs> yeah. sure. He looked but, like he grew up racist. <laughs> but but the, but the thing is, like the reason why I asked you that is because we were having a conversation um, last week about it, and it was crazy because we were talking about Kaepernick being on the cover of GQ, mm-hmm. and just how like it just seems like I'm glad. Like me and Chuck always talk about instead of talking for, for focusing on the negative shit, like instead of focusing on. We still ain't getting what we are just do. We still are oppressed. It's still this. Celebrate the progress that is happening. Happened, right, right. So I'm just trying to get your take on it. Like, do you feel like we need to still focus on, okay, this is some bullshit? Or are you like, well, I'm happy that this is happening? Um, I mean, a, a lot of people, they just, I don't know, man. It's like a lot of people are like really not gun hold about what they say. 
You know I what I'm saying? Like, yeah. like they are said like when it's cool to fake say fake ass it. activism, right. right? Fake, fake ass. Look, you know, look, black look, power shit. Say fake care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what y'all fake care? No, it's care like, fake as fuck. Fake as TC fuck. would say. <laughs> people, people be posting shit like that just to seem like they know shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, if you really don't know a lot about that, you shouldn't even speak on it. Say that. Yeah. You know exactly. what I'm saying? And then like. Like I said, people do a lot of that shit to be cool. You know what I'm saying? But um, I feel like if it's always genuine and if you really know what you're saying, then of course voice your opinion. But if you don't, fall back. You know what I'm saying? Like somebody that really know what they be talking about is T.I. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. When he be, you yeah. know, when he, when you know, because he really go do the research. Yeah. And he really yeah. be at the yeah. meeting. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Chance the Rapper. Right, right. Chance the Rapper. J. Cole. You know what I mean? So. Shouts out to Chance. He was at a, he was at a, at a Chicago, city, uh, yeah. city hall meeting at yeah. 8 in the morning. At 8 in the morning. Banging on him over Banging there. on but, him. But you feel me though? Like, if, if you really about that yeah. life, voice it. Yeah. But if you doing it just to. Get some likes under your uh, under your uh, posts right. or, or some comments or some followers. That's some fuck like, shit. Like that's some fuck shit. Man. All right, you know so, so Quincy White at this point, right? You 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 make the money you want to make, right? You get the 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 accolades. You get the platform that you desire to to, to get. What's one? Um, what's a platform that you? What's something that you would use your platform for? What's a what's something that, you know. Some some type of uh, thing that you either would donate money to, set up a fund for, like what's kind of, what you, what are you passionate about that people may not know about? Uh, I'm passionate about the youth. Youth, you know what I'm saying? Because when I grew up, we didn't have a lot of shit. You know what I'm saying? Like like even like playing for the park leagues, it was it was hard for the park to get jerseys. Oh wow! You know what I'm saying? And um, people don't understand that that really keeps people out the streets. <laughs> yeah. Like when somebody is really in love with sports. Yeah. They bypass all the gang banging yeah. and the drug dealing and all that. They want to play like, in that Friday night, right? You know, and then yeah. and even on past the park leagues, we got the the AAU leagues. You know what I'm saying? Like the 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 uh, so travel leagues, travel leagues. Right. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So and those that really cause money. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And the parents can't afford it, so it's like and then that and then after school programs. You know what I'm saying? The the, the lunch programs. Right. You know what I'm saying? Just everything that, that helps the inner city. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like when people get a lot of money, they, they throw it on the business side. They they throw something in Hollywood right. or throw something on Melrose right. or, you know, all, downtown. You know, pe places that already got money. Man, that's why you I know salute what I'm Nipsey and salute you. Right, yeah. Like, they yeah, shit yeah they, got they, they, they shit in their hood. You know what I'm saying? So I'll be, but, but, but beyond clothing, though, right, gotcha. you know what I'm saying? I'm saying just... Programs, got you, got you. you know what I'm saying, and and curriculum, yeah, not to not to make money off of it. You know, I'm talking about like you know nonprofit like organizations. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Like I got a homie that um that model. His name is Jerron McKinley. He from the same neighborhood I'm from. Mm -hmm. He he's only like 24 years old and he got a nonprofit organization. Damn. So like he's making forty probably forty fifty thousand dollars a shoot. You know, modeling. And Damn. he's he's paying for people colleges at twenty four years old. Business, right? You know what I'm saying? So it's like Shit. you now that's how you use your platform. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that's how you really like if you really like I said, if you really care, don't fake care like you said. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like you gotta really show. You gotta really show it. So like that's what I'll do. I do more like to help the the, the how I grew up, right. the people of how I grew up. You know what so I'm saying? Quincy Quincy White Football League or something like that. Yeah, football. I, like I, I said, like what school uh, programs what, all I like what um what Joe Moses does too. Yeah, that's dope. What he does, he does that. Um, it, it, he completely do, does it himself. Like the, the football league, uh, football like kind of like what Snoop does. Oh, right. Okay, that's dope. I didn't yeah. Know. So yeah. shout out to shout out to everybody that do that type of shit. Yeah, like, that's I think dope. That's I, keeping the kids. Like I said, it's keeping the kids keep them occupied. And then a lot of, like I said, a lot of them, them parents, they really can't afford it, man. You know what I'm saying? So when them rappers take their own money out their pocket and, put the and pay for that, to. it's like it speaks volumes. You know what I'm saying? I think I, oh my bad I was just gonna touch on that. I was gonna say boredom is one of the motherfuckers where that's what shit you you it caused problems. He Chuck was making fun of me because I bought a girl I bought I bought a girl I bought a girl a coloring book and some crayons because I told her look like when you get bored fucking color don't fuck with me like don't bother me. <laughs> I know it sounds crazy. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's, it's, like, yeah. it's like it's like yeah, it's like something that you get your daughter like, man, don't right. bother me. Like, this you is know, a grown ass woman. Color. Uh, well, I'm just saying, like you know, a Rubik's cube. This is a grown ass uh, woman. What you need? A PlayStation? Whatever you need. Just no, nah, like nah, fuck <laughs> that. I was laughing at the shit that went before that. He's like, "What you into? 
Oh, you in, you into you into horses? Okay, boom. You can get this horse color. Oh yeah, whatever. You, <laughs> it's just whatever you need to. to I, I'm just touching <laughs> horse color. Listen, book, let's bro. not let's not let this distract you from the fact hey. that we talking about the kids. Uh, <laughs> Look, the kids need shit to keep them occupied. And that's what I'm talking about. You okay. So she a kid. Whatever. No. Yeah, right. No. no. Hell no. 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 Fuck all that. Fuck all that. But hey, how you gonna segue out of this shit, nigga? Quincy White, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Breakfast Club. Good morning, <laughs> nigga. That's how, that's how you gonna get off this motherfucker. What you mean? Right, look, before we close it out, though, Quincy. Shit, man. what you talking about? Before I can get out of some shit real fast. Before we close you know what out, man, we, we always ask <laughs> this one thing: you wanna make sure before the year ends. Obviously, we're close to the year, year ending, but we can extend this to a full year. So fast forward a, a year from now, what's one thing you wanna make sure? You gotta check off your list. The album's out. I mean, it can be music related, it can be family, it can be personal, whatever. What's one thing you gotta check off your goals list or want to make sure that you do for the year ends? I gotta get a. I gotta either get on a tour or have a tour, bro. Like I've never toured with anybody. Like, I'm gonna tell you some real shit. Opening up or nothing. It just seemed like you so laid back that your your show would seem like it would be like fuck. Is, what is he gonna move? It'd be like, <laughs> like watching, like like are you? Cause I only seen I've only seen you perform twice I think total, and like tell like what can I expect a, going to a Quincy White, White show? I know what I know what a Dove show is like. Yeah. What's a Quincy White show like at this point? I you know what's so crazy I haven't even had a show yet. That's what I'm saying. What is, it on, what, is, what is it? I mean, what can right, people look okay, forward look to? Look at it. You, you see like I'm like reserved. I'm laid back, right? Mm -hmm. Um, do I seem this way when I rap? Like when I did the, the, no. the freestyle oh, no, no, you're no, talking no, about, no, no, no. I, I seem like an animal, no, no. right? Yeah. That's the same shit. It's like, it's, it's it's a different switch. It's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm this way as a person, but, you know, when I step into my place of work, mm -hmm. it's like, it's Time to like work. trying to kill everybody. Got you. You know what I'm well, saying? Well, not, not kill everybody, allegedly. No, you know, not, <laughs> <laughs> not physically kill. Yeah, yeah, not, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because we gang injunctions. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not physically <laughs> kill. You know what I'm saying? Just, just let the record reflect. You know what I mean? You know, yeah. you know lyrically kill yeah. the competition. You know, hey. in the hip hop in the hip realm. Yeah, yeah. All right, Quincy White. Uh, did the site is QuincyWhite.com. QuincyWhite.com. Q U I N C E Y W H I T E dot com. The the Twitter is at Quincy White. Same spelling, and the Instagram is I am Quincy White. Oh, somebody got Quincy White. Yeah, man, it's some dude with literally squatting on it. No, let, let me tell you how many followers he got. Well, don't don't say that because I I might have the same amount. No, 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 and no, 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 I have insecurities he about had, my followers. He has six. Oh damn. Oh. <laughs> and zero posts. Go to it. Just Quincy White. Oh, that's some bull. Oh, he has man, six he... followers, bro. Damn. Look. He oh, that's a white dude. And he look happy with his yeah. followers. Too. And he What's looked like he in the woods. He, he he really is white though. What you going? <laughs> <laughs> He's verified. You know what I'm saying? His name is Quincy, and he white. Hey, I DM'd him like nine <laughs> times. Like, bro, come up off that. <laughs> that was. See, that's I think the wrong I, I think he made him made it. You fucked up. No, nah, he look. He made it. And never used it. Didn't do shit no, with it. you fucked up. You're what? not supposed to hit him and be like, bro, like run me my. You can't be comfort. He white. He not gonna fuck. No, I did it. I did it in a nice way though. I was like, hey, bro. Um, what was your he, name when you did it? He see. Look, if he I, I, see, I did it as as Dub oh, when I hit him. Nah, nah, then, no, no, no. Matter of fact, I switched it. I, I was I am Quincy White at the time. That's the wrong he, thing he to do. He see all that. He threatened right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Nah, but I think he inactive though, cause he never answered, he's never read nothing. So it's like I really think he. He, he said I DM'd him like, "Hey, I need yeah, you to nah, grow." And I even tried to have somebody at Instagram like snatch it, but they wasn't fucking with it. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, they verified my I am Quincy White, so That's I guess you got the, yeah. You straight man, you, you so good. they so they know it's the real Quincy White, I guess. Well, the well, seven. no, that's the real Quincy White. <laughs> <laughs> His name Quincy, and he white. Right, so, right. Zoom in on that's that privilege. Shit. All right, man. We're going to grab the seven. It's available right now. Appreciate you stopping on through as always. Man, man. good looking, always man. Always happy for you, man. Keep on progressing yeah. in life. Yes, and, sir. Uh, keep being a beast on this microphone, bro. And, and listen, man, listen. Before we wrap up, I want to say this because I'm petty right now. Bring us some of them freestyle shits over here. You know what I'm saying? A little oh, bit I got more. you. I mean, like, let's go. I got Fuck you. All that I got you. Right, it's all <laughs> Chuck Dizzle, DJ Head, Quincy White. We out. Yeah.